back when I was in sin, I really did not care about people. I really did not. Like, I was the main focus of things that I was interested in. When I came to God, so many bad things was purged out of me and it was a long, painful process. There are some people who contact me, which is fine. And there are some people who want to contact me one-on-one. -on -one. When people want to do one-on-ones or try to get close to me, you know, for help and stuff like that, When I help people, it is not this surface, casual helping people. Like when you go to a store or something, you know, you may ask for help and someone may help you and then they may forget about you or not care about you. With me, I care about people, especially when they tell me about the bad things that happens to them. This goes for men and women. Like, I actually care for you. And I try hard to help people as well. So my feelings get into it. Like, I really care for these people, like, as if, this may sound weird, but I care for people, especially the ones who ask for my help. So in so many words, the way that I care for them is as, is as if they are my kids or something like that, which may sound weird, but I am not trying to make this weird, but as if they are my spiritual kids. And I really care for them. So, let me say what I don't like. You want my help. And I guess you want to get close to me as well. Then I am either too strict or speak about God too much or something like that. Or you may disagree with what I say or what you should do to get with God and stuff like that. So you pull away. Then you leave a month, two months, three months, however long, which it is your choice to leave. But what gets me and what somewhat agitates me is when you leave and then you come back. You come back and expect everything to be the same way as when you left. Have you ever gotten close to someone? With me, I can't help but to care for people when I am helping them with God. I can't help it. I can't. I can't do this surface, tell you about God, and pass you along. No, like, 
I am praying for you. I am thinking about you. I am reading and praying with you. This is not a surface thing. I care for people. And the more that I elevate in God, it is like I have this love for people, which I don't want this to sound bad, but I wish I did not have that, like where I care for people so much, because sometimes So, you know, they leave, then they come back. Sorry, Kevin, you know, I was, you know, going through this hard time, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I was thinking about what you were saying and you were right. And, you know, let's go back to the way that things were. I don't like that. I am not this android. I am not this mechanical object that can not feel anything. I feel as well. I have feelings as well. I know people expect me to be strong and very compassionate and everything like that. But you have to understand that I have feelings. There was this one guy. And I would constantly have problems with him. And This guy pretty much expected things to go back to the way they were. Then more incidents happened. Then expect for things to go back the way they were. And not understand how a person would get hurt by him doing or saying or being a certain way hey it should be easy for you to accept me back uh, this is one of many reasons why when some people contact me I don't really now I tell you about God and stuff like that but when it comes down to people want me to call them and stuff like that, I kind of stay away from that. Yes, it would be good for me to call you and, you know, and I can help you and stuff like that, but I don't like, I don't like that. I don't like that. You leave, then come back. Oh, Kevin, I am sorry. I pray that this makes sense. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe I need to toughen much more up. But I can't, I can't separate. There was a time where... <laughs> I really would not cry much. But ever since God purged so much of that sinful arrogance and pride and all that stuff out of me, it's like I begin to tear up even when I think like, why am I crying about this? Like, what is going on? Like, I cry over things that makes no sense to cry over. <laughs> I guess you can say. And I find myself caring so deeply about women, men, 
like people who are going through a hard time in life, I can't help but to care for those people, whether they were in witchcraft or prostitution or whatever. I can't, when I help people, I can't separate my care for them with telling them about God. I don't think there is a possible way to do it. I guess I have to become much more tough, I guess. You know, I was praying to God to make me more like a robot or something where I can just help people with God and not feel. I believe being able to feel, I don't like that. It would be a lot easier to deal with more people if I did not feel, if I did not love for men and women, for everyone young, old, whatever. I can't, it is so weird. I never, I have no idea how it works where I love so much people or people, whether they do good or bad, I still have this compassion for people. I just wanted to tell you all of this so you can know where I am at. God bless you.